Hey everyone, how you doing? We're going to be doing some rearranging here in the greenhouse. There's a ton of plants in here we're going to show you. Got some new benches here that were built. Uh, got more benches in here than we're ever going to have before. So we got to rearrange things, clean some things out, and we're going to show you what we got going on in here. Well, it probably makes sense to do a before and after. So here we are before. Coming into the uh, the Amazon jungle here. <laughs> but look at this. Casey has been hard at work. She's been busy. Look at all these seeds. Wow, they are seedlings. They are little plants now. We spent most of the day today working on our website, manorhousemarket.com. And there are still new seeds being planted all the time. Whoop, look at this, lavender. People, people love lavender, don't we? Some of the white sage. Look at that, you can see that it's starting to germinate here. There's just not enough room in here for all the plants. So that's why we gotta bring in the new tables, benches. We gotta get the seeds that are in the little seedling chambers out of there and onto benches so that they can breathe and sprout up and be big and healthy. And then Casey's got more things to seed. So we just, we, we might have to put up another, uh, or we might have to do a greenhouse extension next year. Casey wanted to do that this year. Uh, I, I didn't want to, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're running out of space here. So what we're gonna do in here to, to get more room is we're gonna take the bunny enclosure, we're gonna cut it in half. So far, got the fence moved. It was actually easier than I thought. It doesn't happen all that often. Little guys are, they're happy with their new pad. There's still plenty of space for them. We're going to take out one of the houses, and this is all going to be additional grow space now. And they have their enclosure outside, so they should really be outside during the day, and then if the temperatures are cold at night, then we'll, we'll bring them in here. So this will really just be kind of like their, what would you call it, like hotel room. Right. <laughs> yep, short stay, temporary. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's all cleared here. Ready for the next step. Utilizing all the space in here. Otherwise, it all comes apart. <laughs> we just moved the big eucalyptus. Right here. It's big. <laughs> Our table. Good. Yeah, another one. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure it out everywhere we're going we're like oh not was. here no 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 not here let's go what if we turn it this way and put it in here <laughs> well look at how amazing these seedlings are did you show them the seedlings or not uh, just a little bit but yeah you can yeah uh, everything i'll do a uh a seedling tour they're always kind of boring to me the seedling tours so if you guys have any ideas on how to make it maybe less boring because I just show tray to tray and then I just talk about the variety unless that's what you guys like. I well, don't know. You do it in your bikini. 
<laughs> no one wants to see Nobody that right now. Understand. Trust me. Trust me. No one wants to see that right now. <laughs> it's one piece these days. <laughs> and Lana just got home from school. She had student council. Little Lana kids yep. coming out to see the bunny's new new pad. They downsized. It's very small. It's smaller, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look super cool in here though mm -hmm. like with all the big plants mixed with the new plants and are they all cuddled in their little apartment in there <laughs> yeah. the little bunny bunny apartment <laughs> so now we've got lots more space in here I'm about to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing down there, Sayla? Playing with sage. Oh. Sage inside there? Yes. The pumpkin is like, he's right away. <laughs> and Prancer is just the calm one. Yes. Sage and Prancer are the calm one. That one's the active one. Yeah, that's right. So in one of the previous videos, I showed you a project that we had going on up towards the front yard where we were going to get a new culvert that was getting put in through the uh, the berm that we have in front. So we had the, uh, the the culvert pipes delivered. My excavator brought them out. It's been too wet to do anything, but I gotta show you these pipes. They are huge. I bet Lana and Sayla could probably walk through it standing up. So let's go, let's go show you that for a little bit of entertainment here. So this is all gonna be getting dug out. It's gonna look like a little uh, crick because it's gonna get dug down. You know, probably like three feet wide by two feet deep, something like that. You can see we've got a home that was built across the street from us. And we've been working at getting this berm filled with trees. And that's part of the reason why we just want to feel enclosed and private over here. Okay, are you ready to see these massive pipes? <laughs> there they are. They are 36 inches. I can actually get all the way in here, no problem. I don't know if we're gonna need two of them. I mean, those two things together gotta be like 40 feet long, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes after they, uh, I mean, really we need, we need this to dry out before he can do anything. Realistically, it could be months before this all dries out. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our Tetris game here in the greenhouse. <laughs> Until next time.